Hey, it's Salty, and today I'll be showing my ALCs. Uh, I have a few variants of them, and I'll be giving some recoil tips if you want to beam like I do, or well, specifically me, if you ever watch me. I initially did this uh, in Season 9, but I only had 5 subscribers at the time. I've grown since then, so I figured I'd do an update. It's still the same exact thing, but uh, please subscribe if any of this helps you. If you need any other tips, feel free to ask me. I also made a... Uh, video on how to predict zones if you need to rank up and all that please check out my 20 bomb this season with horizon that's where my friend izzy has over 580 views last time i checked i have an octane 22 bomb video blah 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 the very first section will just be me showing my alcs if you want to just like not hear me talk and then i'll probably i'll probably talk about my alcs and explain why i have them the way i do So next, I'll talk about recoil. Oh my god! Strike pack! Cronus! No! Get better! Alright. Look. Recoil? No recoil. See that? Now what I'm doing there is very simple. I'm just strafing. Look. I, I like to strafe with the recoil, right? So like, I kind of know the recoil patterns a bit. But you don't even have to do that. And do you know why? Look at this. Alright, so, look. Recoil. But then let's say you try to track something. This is a built-in mechanism by respawn. Because if someone's, like, running real fast, like Octane or Bangalore, you, they want you to have a chance to hit them. So, let's say I just, like, go left and hold down right. Like, I have to track them, right? Look at that. Same thing. I'm gonna go right and hold down left. And I could be better at that. I'm not that great at that. But what I like to do is, like, for uh, the 301, left, right, while holding down. And look. Recoil. No recoil. Have you ever watched my, one of my videos and been like, God, this dude has incredible aim. That's literally all I do. But this, for me, only works on like lower response curves. If if I put this all the way up to 10, which is classic, even if I put this uh, dead zone down, it reads my input so much slower. I can't, I can't do that. That's just horrible for me. But that's literally all I do. I just strafe with recoil. Like, and then I'll do the one I do. That's what I like to do, anyways. Now, there's pros and cons to this, right? At longer ranges, it's not the best, right? There's people that can show recoil all the way up there. I cannot do that. I crutch on this so hard. And then also, let's say, um, you ever watch one of my flat, me using a flat line? I've gotten accused of cheating while using a flat line. I just know they're dog shit. And please, take this out of what I'm saying. If someone comments that on, like, my video or someone else's that, like, someone's cheating and they're just doing this, you know, you know they are bad at the game because then their aim just looks like this. When I could just do this. If they can't do that or they don't understand that, either they're very naive or they're just bad and want to make it it's easier to make an excuse than it is to self-reflect remember that people want you to do well but not better than them please remember that all right right left right is what i do for the uh, flat line so right left, right you don't even have to do that though like i just showed you you can just look i'm gonna go left and hold down right well i'm not gonna hold it down but i'm gonna track it I see so you could be better at that than me. All 
Alright, so I hold down button. See? It's not the easiest sometimes. Like, let's say I'm like right here. It's gonna be. I've fallen off of like head peaks and stuff like that. But like on a low respawn you just get used to controlling respawn. That's just me trying to manually control it. That's fucking horrible. But this is all I do. And then the tracking, like I showed you, you get no recoil when you go in. Like that. Easy stuff. And you just gotta practice it. That's literally all I do. That's all I've ever done. Okay, in this section I'll talk about my ALCs and why I have them the certain ways I do. And maybe some alternatives for you, but remember, these are set to my thumbs, how long I've been playing. And You know what I mean? So please... Don't copy them and then be like, oh, I'm going to play just like this, like, mediocre player. No, just maybe change them around, find what you like, and that's, I don't know. I find it annoying when people do that. All right, so, trigger dead zones, where's that at? Oh, right there. Please turn those off. None. You don't want to have to pull down harder to do this. Most simple one. All right, dead zone is on five. If you don't know what dead zone is... Put this all the way at 50. I guarantee you won't be in this, dude. That's me holding down as hard as I can. Look at that blue circle as it, as it lowers. At our threshold, I'll be honest, I just see everyone have this on 2, I have it on 2. Response curve, I have it on 3. With a low dead zone and a low response curve, I barely have to pull down, right? But here's a problem with low dead zones, uh, re low response curves like this. The Apex will do less of the tracking for you. If you don't know what I mean, let's say you've never played linear. Go all the way down, I guarantee there's so many people that are going to be like, Whoa, I could not be in this dude. I can because I can play it, but I know a lot of people cannot. Now, I have it on three. Why is that? So that way Apex will do, it'll be slightly more sticky slightly more and if let's say three is too much for you you're like oh it's too wispy it's moving all over the place blah 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 well you can either lower your ads speeds or bump this up to five i like five and see it's sticky right there i can feel the stickiness right there but i have to pull down uh slightly harder which i hate i have tendonitis problems i do not want to, have to pull down harder Pro optics. I have these low again because I'm playing on a lower response curve, and I don't care about sniper optics. I don't, I don't use those, so that just doesn't affect me at all. Okay, yawn speed. Your left and right, and your pitch up and down. And you're gonna be like, why are these so slow? I see you bunny hopping all over the place. Yeah, I don't have to. I don't do a bunch of crazy movement stuff. I don't have to. Look, and my hip fire is pretty accurate. Pretty accurate. Now, let's say you're wanting, you really want to like look like those YouTubers on a controller that do crazy movements, right? You want this at 500, whatever. I would suggest lowering that and then bumping this up. And you could be like, well, what is this? Okay. So look, this is so fast for me, but then, once I get to like, this enemy's bubble, oh, you see that? It's slowed. It's slowed. That's not extra aim assist. When it gets into their hitbox bubble, it will slow for you, right? So you can have this fast sense, and then, ooh, slow. I don't like it though, because it sticks to them. And whenever I was like, up close fighting someone, doing my usual stuff like that, I try to turn and it just wouldn't, you know what I mean? It's stuck to them. I mean, if you like it, try it out. I do not. I used to have it, but it got me killed a few times. I just didn't like it. Up and down, I like that slightly lower, so when I'm pulling down, I just, just go straight to the floor. Right? See, that's pretty controlled. I think 300 is fine for me. You might pull down harder in your sticks, you might pull down not so hard. Keep that in mind. Adjust those however you want. I think this is a good balance for me, though. 
those you always want these here whenever i see people have these i question how they rank up all right ads y'all left and right it's just this ads pitch you want this lower 120 is the farthest i personally would go but you get it feels like you get less aim assist and when you go higher. I don't know if that's like intentional or whatever. But it just feels that way. If you if you like it higher, I can use it higher. But I notice whenever people have like crazy um what's the word? Strafes and jumping and all that stuff, like if it, it's hard to hit them. So I feel like that's tied to that though. Oh, okay. And you're gonna be like, okay, salty, you didn't like turning extra yaw, turning extra pitch. Why do you have this on 10? And it's simple. Because the same reason that like I like uh, I hated about the not uh, hip fire one is the same reason I like it on my ADS, right? So when you're playing on a low response curve, it does less of the tracking, it's less sticky. It feels like you have less aim assist, right? But if you have it on 10, just 10, it See that? It feels lovely. I love it. I love having good you, you don't need any more than that. You don't need any less. It's just perfect. It's just perfect. If you ever watched my Octane 22 bomb video, I was playing on one. And just the same exact thing. Ooh, that feels so crisp. But I like three right now because I want the uh, game to do some of the tracking for me. That's what I want. But yeah, fine tune these. Don't just copy them and be like, oh, blah, 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 blah. Just fine tune them however you like them. We both pull down slightly harder on uh, our joysticks.